Hello and welcome to another episode of Spotlight and today we're going to be talking about um Superman. <laughs> no, Captain America the Winter Soldier. Hi! Today we're gonna to be talking about Captain Bam! America the Winter Soldier. <laughs> uh this America. is our, our review on it. Uh, we both went and saw it. I went and saw it, uh, the midnight showing, 12 o'clock, the Audi Max. I was sick. And then my daughter. <laughs> so, uh, but what did you think of it? It was awesome. Really? I really did. I really did. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't get that impression. Yeah. <laughs> Not, it, was, it wasn't no Thor 2, uh, The Dark oh, World. Oh. You know, but it was, it was a close second, right there behind, like, Iron Man 3. Is that sarcasm? Yeah, that's <laughs> it made me feel sad seeing those movies after watching this one. So, as you can see, now with the, the new set, we have a background and stuff like that, but that's not really the focus of the show at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, it was a really, really good movie. I, I enjoyed it a lot, and I did not care that much for... The uh, first one. The first one. I did. I liked the first one. It was just like the last act of the movie. Like, they are just like... Montage. We got to... Yeah, then the montage, like, well, basically, it's like, there was, like... No resistance for the guy, really. There was that, that was a problem with the movie, but I was more or less, like, saying there was, like, a hundred different ways out of the airplane situation that he was in. Yeah. And it was, like, it was kind of really vague on what the hell... I'm talking about the first movie, just to kind of summarize. Um, it was kind of, like, really um, vague on what was happening, because the Tesseract was powering the ship... And they removed the test crack. Only like four of the six engines were working. With, I don't know, without they, the test rack. Did it have any residual of energy radiation coming from the You know, rack? well, if, that was a, if that's a plot point, they should have brought it up. You look, my star. Into a shield. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, America. So that was my only real beef with the, with the first movie. Um, but the second one, man, they, they tightened that Bam. script. The action scenes were really good, the really intense. Really well, they would never say the acting was bad because I, like I, I didn't. I didn't have a problem with that in the first movie. I didn't though. really like Chris Evans. I always felt like he was really, really yeah, like not a whole lot. Like, he was like, I don't know, it's hard to describe. Kind of really matured over the years. Like I, like he did a movie called uh, Fantastic Four. No, I was gonna say that. <laughs> the other knockoff superhero one he did was like Push. That was what what it was. Oh yeah. yeah. With Dakota Fanning, and that one was kind of like the one that was like bleh. number four meets Twilight. Yeah, that really that was really Dakota Fanning's fault though. She didn't never gotten drunk before, and it really showed because she did not know how to act like somebody. She never like seen somebody that was drunk before because she did not know what a per drunk person looked like, and that was hilarious. Um, Anyone think when it add about Captain America and Winter Soldier? Other than the fact that people should go see it. It was freaking awesome. It was awesome. Well, what was, was, what was like, something you liked about it? Like, I I really liked... Uh, you can't just say you liked it. Uh, I really liked the uh, relationship that grew between Black Widow and Captain America. Where it was like, they really grew together as like trusting each other as I, the movie went on. And it was like, I felt like there was kind of like waves. Like the writers were jumping back and forth the whether or not they wanted like them to hook up or not or be brother and sisters and it was like kind of awkward at moments because it's like she's like remember last clear she's like yeah, kiss like, me and i was, what? I was like what and i'm like are they really going that route but they didn't then they would stop going that route but then they would get all flirty again so i, I don't i don't know maybe it was just I, me i don't i don't think like she was doing it intentionally because she like had a thing for him it was just she had been trained that way and that's how she gets out so of situation flirty. so it was like maybe that's her like mechanism for Getting information well, for interrogation. Question. Yeah, but I, I felt like they had like a really better brother and sister kind of relationship in the movie. And when she would do stuff like that, it kind of like off put me a little bit. Yeah. But not that that's a complaint. It was just like a little. You don't know how to react to it. Yeah, it was like. Mm, like do I like this? No, or I don't like does it. it make me feel like I have yeah. uneasy feelings in my tummy? Tummy. And shield! There was Captain America. Tummy. Well, talk about the shield. That was the only problem I had with the movie. Oh, with the bridge thing? Yeah. Yeah. It was a scene in the movie, and we'll probably spoil a little bit here. Spoiler! So that's out of the way. <laughs> it was a scene in the movie where they were getting uh, attacked by shield agents. We won't, I won't get too much into it. Too, too spoilerly. But uh, they got captured. And their stuff got taken away from him because he lost his suit. 
the, the Falcon. And he lost his shield. It was like the only time in the movie where they're like, how do you get the shield back? How do you get, how do you get the shield back? They never, they never explain it. They never explain they, it. They just, like all the other times, you could throw that thing and it's they, 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 they show up uh, in, the, in the next scene. They still don't have the stuff. And then when they go to uh, Me? <laughs> do the, the, the final big action fight scene at the end with the awesomeness and the blowing up stuff that you're just going to have to go see to find out. They just have all their stuff, and he's like, he he, the dude's flying around in this suit, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, I, I like the suit, but I almost wish he had, like, a full costume, and not just, like, a jetpack. The Falcon? Thing. Yeah. Have you seen his actual costume, though? Yeah, it was like, but they could have done something with it. Like, instead of just, like, he's wearing, like, combat boots, jeans, and a t-shirt. Like, they could have done something. I don't know. Give him, like, like Teflon, like, a, a jacket white, or something. A white Teflon, because he's, like, red and white. Yeah, he's really like, got a really bad color screen. But they could have given him like all black, make him like kind of like. Oh, a dark I hate Falcon that though. Like, that. like it's, it's something. It's like just... so cliche for superhero movies. Like I'm surprised, even Cap kind of had like an all black suit in this. It was a dark blue, suit. but you know what I'm saying. Like they always put all the superheroes in like black leather, and it's like. I like how they tied some of the uh, stuff from the first movie in with this one, like uh, kind of like what they did with the like the after World War Two when they mm, we got like the, the German yeah, and like when the. Well, they went through the, uh, the army base, and they went underneath the Oh, oh, like, oh. Like, like that kind of stuff. Because we, we did that, and it was kind of like uh, art was impersonating or history or whatever. What, you, know, you know what I'm saying I'm talking about? Like imitating yeah, yeah, art, no. imitating history. Like it was, it was like that, and it was like imitating like our society like nowadays. It was like, that's oh. really... Like, oh. it, was, it was kind of a deep movie. A callback? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, I kind of got what you're saying there. It's, it's kind of like, if, if you think of like the topics that are like going over in this movie, like big governments like bad, they control us, and you need to like have your freedom, it's really kind of hits home for what we're going through like yeah. now. And it's like... I, 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 I heard another reviewer say, and I think I must address this, because it was the Spoony one. Um, Spoony one. He said the plot was stupid. He loved the movie, but in, when he explained it, I kind of agree with him. Because... Like, even Cap, like, right at the beginning of the movie, when Samuel Jackson is explaining, like, what these Hello Carriers are going to do, it's like, well, that's stupid. Like, Cap, and he's right. It totally is. Because, like, like he, even he said, like, someone that's too much power, like, what if something goes wrong? And that's totally what fucking yeah. happens. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that kind of is a dumb plot when you think. But, he, like, that's just, like, one of the strengths of the movie, how well it's shot. How well the action scenes are put together, the acting's well. Like you don't really notice. Like you accept the dumb plot because it is kind yeah. of overboard. Like even like the computer, like one ship. Like he was like saying, like, uh, shouldn't you just be able to like just break that computer and it would just not function? Like just start removing ships. Why do you have to put one chip in and the whole thing breaks? Like, yeah, you know, that's kind of a good point. But it wasn't that they were like disabling; it. they were redirecting the targeting system so they blow themselves. Yeah, up. but so I'm just they saying they couldn't even like reuse them or nothing. But I'm just saying, if you even just destroy, like, if you just start removing chips, like, there's it's your navigational, there's your like, <laughs> there's it, your. They might have been like. There's well, Galica. What if like we aren't get there like? Fa <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's funny. <laughs> that's not my joke. <laughs> yeah. What if? Oh, really? That's yes, Rudy said that one. I was oh. like... <laughs> Spoony. Well, like, what if, like, they were, like, didn't get there in time, they're, like, instead of, like, just getting this one chip in there, and, like, they put all the other chips out, but they still, like, have, they don't have, like, the targeting system, but, like, the guns just start going crazy, and they just start, like, murdering, like, everybody. And well, then, then, that, well, is that a really bad thing? Because then the bad guy still loses. Yeah, but they're still killing a shitload of innocent people. Yeah, I get that, but, you know, what but just, about, like, what if about, you break the whole computer, it's not going to work. What about on the ships? What if there was, like, uh, good shield agents that weren't part of, like, the, spoiler, Hydra? on the ship, what if, like, when the ships are getting blown up and shit, what if they're on there and then you're killing all these guys that are on the ships? I don't think they would have put good people on there. It really didn't seem like there were in the movie, like, when you get to that point. It really didn't seem like... You didn't know who to trust at that point. Right? Yeah, no, I get that, too. But I'm just saying, like, I don't think they... I think they personally filled it with, like, their own people, because they were, like, when they were walking on the ship and they shot, like, the guys tried to stop them, so... I don't think they were loading it up with, like, people that would have resisted in any kind of way because they didn't want someone running down the computer and just yanking chips out but i'm just saying it was a that's kind of a plot point i mean it's a plot hole it's it kind of is 
I was trying to figure out, like, when they had three ships up in the air, like, because Cap had one, Falcon had the other one. I was like, who the hell is getting the other one if uh, Fury and uh, Black Widow are with the other people? Like, who's going to get the fucking other ship? What if, like, Falcon gets shot down? How's Cap supposed to get the other one? Or, like, they didn't if... really have a backup plan. Yeah. Was well, like... it was like, I, I've heard people say that complaint, too. Like, why didn't Iron Man show up? Well, Iron Man and blew his ships. So yeah, I know. I thought about that, too. Like, two seconds after I thought of it, I was like, oh, yeah. He gave up being Iron Man. And, like, Thor went back to Asgard. Oh, God, I hate that movie. Hulk disappeared again. <laughs> didn't, didn't, well, didn't Thor come back, like, in the end scene credits? And made out with Natalie Portman. Man of Thor 2? Yeah. I really don't remember. I you was, know what? what funny. I, I, I remember the uh, the portal fight scenes from the Thor 2. A funny, fun fact. At the end of the end scene credits of uh, Thor 2, when he came back and made out with Natalie Portman, he wasn't actually making out with Natalie Portman. She was busy and she couldn't come back for recuts. Pickups. So they Cheating put a on wig. Jane. He, they put a wig on his wife. Cheating on Jane with his own wife. That dirty bastard. Who, Thor? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like Thor anyway, so I don't really care. I like Thor. He's dreamy. So, uh, yeah, recommendations. Go see this movie. Like, multiple while times. Like, while it's in theaters, you will be entertained. The whole thing is, like... It is. It's it, got decent 3D, and... It is fun the entire... Like, there's not one point in the movie. Like, there's some movies that are, like, they're really good movies. There's, like, yeah. there's that slow point where you're just kind of like, uh... I you don't have that. I was generally movie. thinking they were going to kill him off in a couple scenes, too. Especially in the, the last fight scene with the Winter Soldier, it's like, yeah. that got dark. Yeah. To a point where they, they, they pushed Cap to a level I didn't think they would push him yeah. to. It was like, I really played on the Boy Scout thing. That was a good movie, so that's... It's just all We're just repeating ourselves now. It's, it's good. Go watch it. <laughs> it's like, we, uh, number one for like a third week in a row, too. Yeah. That's, As this video is posted. Yeah. It might be more, so... How, does you, how do you feel in that? In what? In your hoodie. I feel like fucking a badass. I wish I had my shield. I don't have a shield yet. I'm, I'm going to get a shield, but it's going to be like a big one. It's going to be like, BAM! I'm, like, I'm Captain America. And then he's going to be like, it? Huh? Does he throw it? How does that work? I don't know. It's comic books. How does the arc reactor work? Science. How does someone with like gamma radiation turn into a Hulk? Science. Science. <laughs> Is that going to be your answer Science. for all of it? Stanley, you're a scientist. <laughs> all right. So, uh, subscribe, like. And like, or dislike. Yeah, if you didn't, yeah, if you didn't, you didn't like, it. like it, dislike it. But who didn't like this movie, really? Really? You should be the one person to like this movie. Batman will kill him. Batman doesn't kill him. Thomas Wayne does. Mm, but Captain America might, like, pull oh, AK he on you. <laughs> He, he, is he, 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 he is not shy at killing you. He's not shy. Or breaking your arms. Punch Hitler in the or... face and shoes lackeys. So yeah. All right. End of video.